Are you new to Affinity Designer? Maybe you've recently heard about it and not sure what it is. It's a really great vector program and it, I believe, beats out the competition because of how accessible it is. I love it for my iPad and I'd love to show you how to use their touch gesture features to make designing that much faster. I'm Katie from Perch Handmade, and I also have classes on Patreon under the Creative Airy. Let's dive in. Let's begin with some really general lessons that if you even just know these few, it'll make your life that much simpler. So first off, to do the three finger swipe down will get you your um, quick menu and you can duplicate, copy, paste, delete. You can work with all of those. I made my screen smaller while I did that. So I'm gonna just show you with a pencil. I'm gonna draw my line, but maybe I don't like something. So two finger taps, that will undo what you've just done. A three finger tap brings it all back together. To zoom in, a two finger spread will zoom in and a two finger pulling it together, pinch, will zoom out. Same with if you want to rotate your screen, two fingers, any two fingers will work. If you need to move left or right, just slide on your screen. It's that simple. For your panel control, this one's really great because you can work through your colors. I'm gonna pull in a brighter color here and let's see, show when we're working with it. So if I want to change that color quickly in the panel control, let's zoom in. If you wanna change the color, slide up and down to change the brightness and the luminosity or how dark it is. Sliding to the left or right will change that color as well. Same with this stroke. You can change your stroke size either by going into the panel here, but with the touch gestures, you can get bigger and smaller as well just by going up and down your panel. If you are on your navigator, you can change where you are on the screen as well, zooming in and out from the center of your screen. If you're wanting to go throughout your history quickly, you can go back and forth. We haven't had too much on here yet, and that will get through your navigation fast. If you're on your color fill, let's give this one a different, uh, maybe a bright color so we can see. So if you're on your color fill and you wanna swap those around, just slide to the left and that will change your colors. If you wanna get rid of the interior color on here, swiping up fast on color fill will get rid of that and make it to a no color fill. Next, let's work in our layers panel. So all of these next ones will be working directly in your layers panel. So say I'm on this one and I want to slide to the left, then I can add a selection, delete, lock, or rename our layer easily. Let's just rename it circle. It's that simple. 
If you want to select multiple layers, just slide slide to the right and you can have multiple layers all selected. I'm going to add another element here so we can see more layers. Maybe I'll add a few more elements. So if I want to select one layer and I want to select everything in between that layer, let's try the middle one here or the second one here. It's tap once on this one and two fingers at the bottom and it connects everything in between. And then you can decide if you want to group those or if you want to go to the move tool and hit add. You can add them to one thing and now they're one big item that you can move around. Remember those two fingers? I'm going to put it back the way it was before by undoing with the two fingers. Let's show you a couple other things. So if you go back here, one and two, and that highlights all of them, a two finger pinch <laughs> will group them together. And then if you do two fingers, you can spread them and ungroup those. If you want to move something down a layer, hold it. And once you see that you can move it, you can move it to a different layer or a different position in your layers. Next, we're going to look over the command controller. The command controller is like your shift and your command and um, option key on your keyboard, but we have it on the iPad to make things a little bit better and easier and to help make shapes better when you're using the pen tool, the knife tool, and the pencil tool. All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you how to use the controller. So here is your controller. You can tap on it and bring it up. If you tap and hold, it will bring up your um, quick menu. You can also tap and hold it and move it around your screen. So if you want it out of the way. If you hold it and slide up and hold it on any of the keys, it'll hold it in the position for say your shift key. And then you can just tap on it to, to delete it. If you want to just work quickly and not hold it in one position, you can just hover over the key and that will work as well. And it modifies your actions quickly. Let's start by just showing you a shape, right? So we have our shapes tool, right? And if you do a one finger hold or use the shift key when you are ready to move your your tool your shape it'll keep the ratios the same same with if you want to change the shape see so freehand or with no hands sorry um, it's not going to keep that ratio, but if you put after you've touched the corner and you put one finger down, it will change the shape, but keep the ratio. If you do two fingers down, then you can move it all around again. Three fingers down will change the shape and move it from the center. Let's try this one. If you say you want to draw a shape or you're making a shape 
and you need to move it while you're working on it, put four fingers down and you can move it anywhere on your screen. It's pretty handy. Say you need to duplicate something, make sure you're on the move tool and hold on to your, your shape and slide over the command and you can duplicate it. You can also duplicate it by doing holding on it and doing a two finger tap. That one's pretty easy as well. And just remember you can do the undo and you can do the redo, right? Th two fingers undo, three fingers redo. Oops. Three fingers, maybe because I moved it. <laughs> the next part I want to show you is while you're using the pen tool only. So remember the pen tool is this little deal e bopper here and when you use it, it you can do straight lines easily straight angles or if you need to add a curve you just kind of pull the nodes and the handles as you're working but if you want to have oops let's, if you want to use only hard angles If you zoom in, all of your angles are going to be hard and not these softer angles. And that's holding the option key down. You can also get that by using a one finger hold as your, so say I'm going along like this, one finger down is going to, I can't make the curves anymore. It's all the hard shapes. Right? I'm gonna cut that and show you a different one. So if you're making the lines here and then you need to go to the nodes tool and you need to move your handle, but say you want to really limit your handles angles, what you can do is a two finger hold, long hold and it'll move it at 45 degree angles. You can also do the same thing by getting it on the shift and 45 degree angles there. Remember, if you wanna just hold it here and you wanna work quick, you can just hold it over, the, over this key and just do one really quick and it holds it just for that second. So say you need to just edit one node That's where the command comes in and you can edit just the one node and move it around a three finger hold. You can just edit that one at a time and um, lets you edit the nodes and it lets you edit the handles easily, right? Say you need to reposition an active node. Four fingers lets you easily reposition it and change single handles on it. If you need to just um, create straight lines using the pencil tool it's kind of hard to do straight lines, but if you if you hold over the control, it creates straight lines. And that's really great when you're using the pencil tool and the knife tool. When your layer panel is open and you need to create a sharp shape, you can do the hold and the, oops, sorry, the hold. <laughs> You can do the hold and the option key and go to your node and turn it into a sharp shape. It instantly does it. You can also do that by doing the long hold with one finger 
and tapping on your shape and oops and when you move the nodes it'll create a sharp angle and you can then turn just move one node sorry one handle at a time If you need to select multiple layers, having the command allows you to do that as well. I hope this has been a little bit helpful in learning the touch gestures in Affinity Designer, and that's for the version two on the iPad, the newest um, version. And if you want to follow me a little bit more, then join the Creative Airy on Patreon I have a whole class that goes over these touch gestures and more, and it's a great beginner's class for Affinity Designer. I also have a free download of these touch gestures on my website, and I'm going to drop that link below. I'm Katie from Perchan Made. Join me on the Creative Airy, and I'll teach you all about Affinity Designer. I have a new class coming soon and um, check it out. It'll be on assets. All right. Bye for now.